can see a single line in the spectrum, like in this case, a single line corresponding to BPFO. There are no harmonics, nothing is up here, it's only a single line. And this is applicable for envelope readings, envelope vibration enveloping or SPM. So for our envelope readings, when you see a single BPFO line, that's a good sign. It's not a sign of a bearing damage. This is a sign of a good mounted transducer that is looking inside the transducer. So this is good, and I'm going to explain why. What's the logic behind this? Now, if you take a look at this uh, bearing, in this case we have a load zone acting in this direction. We have a transducer down here in the middle of the load zone. And if I magnify this part, this is the transducer. The rollers are coming here, passing by the transducer. It's very close to the transducer here, leaving the transducer. So if you look at the interface between the roller and the outer raceway, it will emit a mechanical noise floor or a mechanical noise. So this is a healthy bearing. Nothing is wrong here. There is lubricant film here, but there is a mechanical contact in between the roller and the outer raceway. And this will, again, emit mechanical noise. And when the roller is very close to the transducer, like here, this mechanical noise will be amplified because it's a short distance. But when it's far away like this, the amplitude is lower. So every time a roller passes this transducer, there is amplification of the mechanical noise. And then when the roller leaves the part, it will go down. So there is a modulation with the outer raceway or the rollers here on the, on the outer raceway. And the modulation frequency is, uh, uh, this is the formula. And this is a time domain signal, so the mechanical noise is amplified, the roller is closed and leaving, the next one is coming. So this pattern will repeat itself with this uh, time. Now, if we take this, this signal, and by the way, the amplitude here of this signal is extremely low. It's very, very low. So if we take this signal and you put it into an analyzer, a handheld or online system. What you have in an analyzer is an anti-agas filter, that's a basic low-pass filter. And when you send in the signal to a low-pass filter, the low-pass filter will smear out the peaks. So the result of feeding in this signal to the low-pass filter will be this. So this is a sinusoidal shaped signal, which is the same here. This is the modulation. And now, if you apply the Fourier transform, the FFT, on this signal, it will be a single peak. Because this is a nice and, and smooth sound, so the shape signal has a single peak. So, if you have a single peak in the spectrum using enveloping, it's most probably coming from this, which is a good sign. The transducer is perfectly mounted, everything is fine. The transducer is looking into the bearing. Now, however, if you have a time signal that looks like this, there's an impact here, an impact there, an impact there, that is very strong. Very, very steep change in, in, the, in the amplitude here. And if you make an FFT of this one, it will be a, the main tone, but then a lot of harmonics. And harmonics is normally bad. That's a bad sign. That's a bad damage. That's a huge difference between a single peak, it's a good sign, and harmonics, that's a bad sign. If uh, I show you one practical example, this is uh, when I used uh, the color spectrum overview tool that we have in our software. This line here, that is clearly visible the whole way, that's the single BPFO line. That's the, uh, the main component of the BPFO, and there is no harmonics there. It's empty. This line here is coming from the roller, and this is the hydraulic motor. No harmonics, so this is a good sign. This transducer is perfectly mounted. However, if you have a vibration transducer, pure velocity reading, for example, this is a normal transducer, a vibration transducer, no enveloping, normal vibration. What you see, if you see a single BPFO line here in this case, that's not the friction or the, the mechanical noise floor, that's more the deflection of the outer raceway when the rollers is passing this point. It's pushing down here, and it's this part here, the outer raceway, is actually deformed to some extent. So it will push down and create this low frequency uh, signal that's corresponding to the BPFO. 
So to summarize this, if you have a single big FO line where you have a rotating inner race uh, using enveloping or SPM, that's a good sign. That's the modulation of the mechanical noise floor. Uh, if you have harmonics in the signal, that's a bad sign. That's normally uh, damages. If you have a normal vibration transducer, velocity readings, and if you see a BPFO line, single one in the spectrum, that's most probably due to the deflection of the outer rays when due to the load distribution. Okay, that was all. Thank you.